In this video, I'm going to show you how you can completely edit your photos using Lightroom, correcting lighting and colors in Lightroom Classic 2024. Hello, photographer. Welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of photography. In this channel, I talk about professional editing techniques to help you make more money with photos. Now, let's get into the video. I have this photo here where it was taken in the sunset and we can see that we don't see the sunset very well and also we don't see the model very well. So the exposure is not really good. And what I want to do here for this video is just to show things that you can do on your photos, working with the lighting and working with the, the colors, how far you can get with your own photos. And I just want to see what we can get with the photo that I have here as well. The first thing that I like to do is always correcting the lighting. And for this photo in specifically, I'm not going to be working as much with the general tool that we have here on the basic um, tab. I'm actually going to be working with the masking so I can be more punctual in the lighting that I need to fix. So what I need to fix right now is this sky. It is the sea. It's way too bright. The model needs to be a little bit lighter because I want to see more of her. And also I want to make this area here a little bit lighter as well and less contrasting because um, I'm, ju I'm just not loving it, the lighting that's here. So let's start going to the mask and I'm going to create a linear gradient. I'm going to go all the way down here and I'm going to fix first the sky and the water, the lighting on the, the sea, but I need to subtract. So I'm going to click here, subtract my client here. So I removed her and now we are good. So what I'm going to do is go down with the exposure and I'm going to go lower with the highlight. I'm going to go back a little bit with the exposure. And I think now the sky is a little bit too dark and too intense and getting too contrasting. So I'm going to go up with the blacks and now it's looking better. I'm going to go up with the shadows as well. I'm going to go down a little bit more with the whites. This is looking good. Now I'm going to work with the model. So I'm going to create another mask and I'm going to go to select model. And for this one, I'm going to go up with the exposure and this is looking good. I'm going to go up with the shadows a little bit, not too much. And now I can see the model way better. And I'm going to go up with the whites as well, just a little bit. And this is looking way better. Another thing that I want to do is to bring more light to the ground here, to the rocks. So I'm going to create another linear gradient and I'm going to do the reverse here. I am going to deselect the model because I'm getting a little bit of the model in the mask. So I'm going to go to subtract, select subject, and she's now removed from the selection. And now I'm going to go up a little bit with the exposure, a little bit, go up a little bit with the black so I can remove that contrasting um, look here for the photo that I'm not liking it as much. And I think I'm going to go up even a little bit, not too much, because now I'm bringing too much light to the shadows. Okay, this is perfect. One thing that I want to do is to make sure that my client is popping out from the background. So I'm actually going to go back here to the mask and now I'm going to work a little bit more still with the selections here. So I'm going to go and go back to the mask where my client is selected. And another thing that I want to add here, let me go down to the facts, is to bring a little bit more clarity for her, just a little bit, not too much. And now I'm making her to be a little bit more um, visible on um, the lines of the my clients here are stronger it has more volume so I can see her better and I like that um, I'm gonna get closer to her now and I can see that she has a lot of noise and here on the rocks I can see a lot of noise as well so I'm gonna work with the noise later in the general for the general photo instead of just being more specific to each point of where the noise is. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the selection here of the sky and I'm going to try to make this a little bit more blurred as much as I can. 
So I'm gonna go down with the sharpness, I'm gonna go down with the texture, and I'm actually gonna go down with the clarity a little bit to create some effect like it's more paint. It looks like it's a uh, oil paint or something like this. And um, I think it looks very good. Let me just adjust a little bit more of the selection here. And I think that this looks really good and really beautiful. So let me get out of the mess now. And now I'm gonna be working a little bit with the color. And for that, I'm gonna change a little bit of the temperature of the photo. I can make something a little bit warmer, which is beautiful. And I can also make something that's a little bit cooler, um, which is also beautiful. And it has, I'm working now with com um, complementary colors. So with the kind of blue and yellow, and this is another beautiful way to go with. I'm gonna try and do this one, working with complementary colors. So we have some blue here from the sky, from the sea, from her dress, and we have more of these warm tones from the, um, the sun and from her, um, her body, the skin of her body. So one more thing that I'm gonna do here on the mask it should intensify the yellow tones, this, this warm feeling here from the sun. So I'm going to create a new mask. I'm going to go to radio, um, radio gradient. I'm going to create a kind of a big circle here to represent our sun. And I'm also going to subtract the model because I want this effect to be applied behind her. And what I'm going to do is to go to temperature and I'm going to make this warmer. So you can see that it's getting warmer. I'm gonna make it way warmer because it is the sun. I can also tweak a little bit here, the green and the um, magenta, but I think that just going up with the yellow here is good for me. And I can even intensify the highlight a little bit or just reduce a little bit. I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is actually. And I like the results so far. So now I'm gonna go back here and I can make the blue sky to be a little bit going towards the, the magenta as well, just to make a little bit colder. It's a kind of different tone or a like hue for the blue, which is beautiful as well. I like how it's looking right now. Little bit less. And I think that this is perfect. I really like that. Another thing that we can do here as well is going to calibration, the last tab that we have in Lightroom. And we have three primary colors, the red, the green, and the blues. And we have a channel that we can work with for each color. Right now, I'm gonna go and work with the, the blue primary. And I'm gonna go with the hue just a little bit to the left, not a lot. I'm just gonna show you what happens. It creates this blue that's more teal and it makes the oranges, the yellows to be a little bit more, this kind of the red especially, to be a little bit more like pinkish, um, I would say. So I wanna give a little bit of this coloring. However, I don't want it to go overboard like how it is right now because the skin, for example, it looks very weird. So I'm gonna go back with the heel and slightly I'm just gonna drag to the left. And I think that this is looking very good, very beautiful. Another thing that I love doing here on the calibration tab is to go up with the saturation because when we go up with the saturation, I'm gonna go all the way, it makes the colors to be more saturated. However, because we are working with the blue channel here, it doesn't make the red that it's in the skin to be more intense. So this is good because it doesn't make her skin to be intense and look weird. So I love using the saturation from the blue channel. I never, almost never use the vibrance and the saturation from the basic tab. I normally, when I want to intensify any color in my photo, I always go to the calibration and I intensify the saturation of the blue channel here. So I'm gonna go up with the saturation just a little bit. And I think that the color is looking so beautiful. I'm so in love with this. Here's the before and after just by playing with the calibration tab. And this is a tab that a lot of people for some reason don't know, don't use it or don't know how to use it. 
and it, it gives such like a, a precious color for your photo. Now I'm gonna go back to color mixer, not color mixer, color grading, and I'm gonna see if I can tweak just a little bit more of the colors here, if there is something that it would be more interesting. I think that I wanted to apply, I think I wanted to apply a little bit of uh, cooler tones on the shadows. So maybe even some um, magenta because I really like this color grading. If you do like the um, teal and orange color grading, you can add this right here as well in this tab. But I'm going to try first to see a little bit of the, my, um, the pink magenta. And I just really like this. I think that this is really good, beautiful. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more of yellow tones, maybe, maybe oranges. I think a little bit more yellow tones here to the highlight. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Here's the before and after, before and after. It just made the photo to look a little bit cooler and it has more of the sunset vibe as well because it's going more to, towards the um, pinkish and I think that that looks very beautiful. So one more thing that I wanna do, I'm gonna go to the basic tab and I'm gonna um, increase the clarity of the photo overall just a little bit. And another thing is the photo had a bunch of noise because um, it was really dark, so if I go get closer to my model, I can see that it has a lot of noise and right here we can see a lot of noise as well. So what I'm going to do is going to details and I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We have the noise right here, manual noise reduction. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to increase a little bit of the luminance and the noise is start um, removing, we start removing the noise. And another thing that I want to do sometimes when you have a lot of this noise, you have some kind of weird coloring to the noise. So I'm going to reduce that coloring and I'm going to just go up here to 50%. And I think that this is looking pretty good. And here's the before and after. Before and after is looking way better. Um, one more thing that I want to do is just like a touch. I want to create another mask here. And do you see that we have some shiny um, reflection of the sun here? I wanted to intensify that for some reason. So I'm going to create a radio gradient and I'm going to put it here. And I'm not going to remove the model this time. I wanted to um, affect her legs just a little bit. And I'm going to go back here to the mask, okay? And let's go here to tones and I'm just gonna bring slightly, just a little bit of the exposure because I think it looks cool to have that um, shiny reflection here. One more thing that I wanna do, I'm gonna go here to the crop and I'm gonna actually click here in angle. I'm gonna drag a line here to this part that's not very straight and automatically Lightroom just fix the angle for me. And I'm gonna also gonna crop the photo as well, just a little bit to make my model to be more into the center of the photo. I'm gonna hit okay. And this is it. I think our photo is ready. If you think that the photo, I might be thinking that the photo now, let me go back, is, is um, she is a little bit too magenta. So actually, let me go to the color mixer and I'm gonna just tweak a little bit of the red here. So if I go to the left, she's getting more red, and if I go to the other side, she's getting more orangish, yellowish. So I'm just gonna adjust a little bit of the skin tone here. So I'm gonna drag here to the right and start removing a little bit of the crazy red. Let me see, before and after, before and after. And I think that this looks pretty good. So we have our photo and here's the before and here's the after, before and after. 
And this is how you can um, edit, complete it, edit your photo in Lightroom 2024, working with the light, working with the masks. There are many other things that you can do and tweak as well. We didn't even use the tone curves, but I don't think that we need it. I think that I already got to a result that looks pretty good as well for me. You can make this photo to have a little bit more contrast as well if you want to do that. And that's going to look beautiful as well. So here's the before and after, before and after, just a little bit like a tweak of contrast to your photo. And But this is how you can completely edit your photo in Lightroom 2024. Um, working with lighting, working with the color grading. If you like the result, click the like button so I know, or you can leave a comment and tell me what was the thing that I actually I was able to help you if I helped you at all with this video. If you wanna know other ways to improve your skills, to make more money with your photos, check out my videos, my other videos here in the channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel as well. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I hope this video was really helpful for you. Until next time.